Hi guys, this is Saurabh. In this video, we will learn how we can read the data from Google Sheet using MIT App Inventor app. So here you can see that's the app here. Whenever someone open our app, so they can see that one first screen. Okay. And whenever you click on this today's task button, just click on it. And here you can see that's my task. Okay. So you can search all these tasks also. Let's suppose I just search your video. How many tasks I have related to video? I have three tasks. And I'm fetching these all tasks from my Google Sheet. Okay. So how we can create this app? Let's see. Here we go. We are using here MIT App Inventor. So we need to click on start new project and just type your app name read data. That's my app name and click on OK. So that's my screen here. Now I need here two things only. That one is button and second one is list view. Just drag and drop this list view. Now I'm going to change this background color of my screen. Okay, so I'm making this screen background color is orange. Okay, and make it orange and click on this button. And I'm going to make this button fill parent. And I'm going to change this text to today's task. Okay, and you can design your button according to your requirement. Okay, and I'm going to make this background color to some tile color. Okay, like this and I'm going to change this text color to white like this. I'm using your one label to make a gap here and remove this text and uh, make this height 1% for look. Okay, and click on this list view and I'm going to make this background color. This one uh, list view background color. So I'm going to make this list view background color to also orange not yellow this should be orange all right and i'm going to make this selection color to white like this now now we need to drag and drop one more thing here that one is go to the connectivity option and here we'll see web option just drag and drop this web now here you can see the url so we have to paste the url of a google seek so let's create the google seek so here is the Google Sheet. Now I'm going to click on this blank first and uh, I'm going to just rename this Google Sheet to something like read data, okay, or task, today's task. You can type any name, okay. Now here I need uh, two things. That one is my task and time. Okay, and you can you can write anything here and if you don't want to write don't worry about that Okay, because from fetching the data whenever we fetch the data we have to remove this one line in the code part Okay, so let's uh, I'm going to define here some task like uh, Creating video So you can define any task here, right? So let's I'm going to click on this share button. That's my sheet here. Click on this share button and then you have to change this link, change to anyone with this link, click on it and make this view, right? Anyone with this link can view, just copy this link, done and paste this link. Just paste this, uh, this one code here, okay? And we have to paste this one link here and we have to change this link. So I'm going to make it zoom. And here you can see in the last, you will see an edit question mark USB equal to sharing, right? So I have to remove this whole. It means from the edit option. Then I have to write something. That one is just type here export, then question mark, then format, then equal CSV, right? Just type this one, right? And just copy this. And you need to go to the web and just paste here. Okay, now that's easy, right? Now that's simple. Now go to the block. Here we need to write code, right? So whenever 
someone click on this button one then we have to get the data so click on web and you will find your call web one dot get now we are getting the data from the web here so now whenever we call this uh, get data then you will see here when web one dot got text just drag and drop this here then we have to create one variable here just click on this variable option and create and initialize here one global variable we need to here create here two variable one is for table because we are fetching the table right uh, because it's two column right here is two column it means it's a table if i if i use it suppose using only one uh, one column here then we don't need to use your table right but we are using a two column that's why we are using a table okay so just type here table and then we have to assign this one value to as a list create empty list like this and just copy this and paste it and we have to assign the one more thing that one is task right we are fetching the value of task and this should be also create empty list like that all right now whenever you got the text then set this one table just set uh, not response text set table this one set global table like this to csv file so just click on list and you will find here list from csv table text list csv table and text where this list from csv table and text this one just drag and drop this here and then we have to get the response content like this all right now we have to call reading data so this one is the procedure we have to create so just click on this procedure and just drag and drop this and just type here reading data you can rename your procedure name then click on procedure and just call reading data here okay now we, we need to call one procedure here then what we will do in this procedure we have to remove the uh, remove one row this one row task and time because we are not fetching this uh, this two column first index right so we have to remove it so what we will do click on the list and you find your remove option so if you don't if you are not using here this uh, the, this two buttons right these two buttons you don't need to write this code here right but if you are using here to uh, this uh, task and time option it means heading so you have to remove this right so just here get global table just type here uh, drag and drop here get table and we have to remove the index one value just maths and just drag and drop this here and make it one like this now we have to use here for each loop just click on control and you will find here for each item in list this one just drag and drop this here then for each line we have to uh, use here this one global table list just copy and paste this here like this so now we need to call here add list item so click on list and you will see here add item to list okay then add item to list in which list we have to add the item in the global task this one right get global task here and the which item we have to add we have to add from the uh, that one uh, table right so what we need to do here I'm going to use here join right uh, this one right because we have two uh, two type of data it means one is uh, the task and that one is the time right so I'm going to use here select click on list and you will find your select list item list just try and drop this here and which list is cat item this one just and index is should be one right index one this one index one means this one first one right and we have to do it again like just copy and paste it and this should be two we are getting the two item but we have to make us some one more text to make it as a this should be look like a separate right click on text and then just drag and drop this here and i'm going to make it separated like this right that's it now 
let's do one more thing that we have to add all these items in the list view just click on list view and just set list view dot element just drag and drop this here to we have to use here get global task this one just get global task here like this let's connect refresh campaign and uh, i'm using your emulator right this one to make it and just click on this today's task okay wait uh, response type not response con content this should be right and just sorry refresh campaign go to this task click again right here you can see that's the content here now we need your search option i'm going to change this uh, text color to black so this will look all more great right and to go to design section click on list view and make it as a text color is black and you can see a so filter bar okay just check this and here you can see that's one like click on it creating video if i just type here book then here you can see the two tasks from the book right see so that's very easy way to create the app to read data from google sheet right so if you have any doubt related to this you just ask me on comment and make sure we have done one mistake so please uh, use your list from csv table text get response content not type right okay so thank you so much for watching this video if you have any doubt you can ask me on comment please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye